What's up, it's your boy Brian Ash, a.k.a. The Handsome Fister. And uh, today I am going to talk about something that absolutely floored me. It didn't floor me. Um, I guess I felt it and I saw it coming, but it wasn't um, something I was expecting. So yesterday I was talking to someone very special to me, and they had mentioned that um, I didn't seem as positive and as motivated as I usually am. And I stopped and think, thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. And, and you know, I got in my own head a little bit, overthought, over, you know, overthinking. And, uh, you know, they were right. Um, and so I felt like I had to explain why and, and explain what's been going on uh, to them. And I'm not going to go into all that right here, right now, right yet, but I, I will. Um, and so one thing I had said is, is if you think about it, um, your mindset, a positive mindset or, um, you know, motivated mindset, you know, starts within your own head. So what does your brain need to be in its best form? It needs rest, sleep, and healthy good food or good food it needs to be nourished and uh ever since i've been going through um my stuff my personal stuff and everything else that's going on with the job if you follow my facebook if you follow my instagram you can you can see that um at least for the last month month and a half like i've been going through it there's been a lot going on so um a lot of stress a lot of depression um, a lot of anxiety, um, my ego and my pride getting hurt a little bit, which, you know, if you guys, if, if you personally know me and you know me well, you know that I usually don't let things like that bother me, affect me, or um, change my thought process or my mindset. And, uh, but for like the last five to six months, um, I probably haven't been sleeping as much as I should. Um, I usually average around four to six hours of sleep a night. And in the last four or five months, it's been, you know, two to four, uh, sometimes less than that. A lot of it has to do with work. Most of it has to do with stress and thinking and being in my own head. Now, that's very hard for me to, to, uh, to bring up because usually I can shut that shit down in my head and you know just stay positive stay happy stay motivated continue to do what I do and 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 stuff like that but um even with all that happening I've never been happier than I am right now real talk like I am the happiest I have ever been in my life right now period point blank um, all the music I've done, all everything, like it doesn't compare to the feelings that I have right now in my life. I'm happier now than I've ever been in my life. But with that being said, there's also been a lot going on. And with that lot going on, like probably for the first three, three and a half, maybe four months of it, um, the lack of sleep and the lack of uh, nutrition and the, the lack of uh, what you know lack of whatever it uh, it started getting to me and, and then I was you know on the, the job in Toronto that um, struggled and struggles and so I'm in Toronto right now so uh, we're trying we're gonna work on some things this weekend to try and make it better but let me get back to my point so that floored me when they had said that I'm not my normal, positive, happy, cheerful self. And I, I started thinking and reflecting on it. And I'm like, they were right. Like, I'm, I'm failing my friends and family. I'm failing my loved ones. And I'm failing you guys. Because I've always been one to come up with something. Or if, if people have a problem, they, they bring it to me. I'm very good at carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders and uh i just i just got too tired 
and uh, that's no excuse. And so what I'm going to do for you is also what I'm going to do for myself, which is I'm going to take better care of myself. I'm going to read more, think more, and be a better me than I've ever been. Because if you mix in that happiness with the positivity and the motivation, like nothing will stop me in this world. Nothing will stop me from achieving my goals. I was just, I'm just going through it. There's a lot going on and, and, I'm, and I'm battling inner, inner demons on a daily basis and I'm trying to do what's right. And it might not be right for any, anybody else or everybody else might not understand it, but doing the right thing is always doing the right thing if it's the right thing for you. So, I, I've just been doing that. I've been doing what I know is the right thing for me and for everybody around me in my inner circle. And, and so, um, I just wanted to let that out and let you guys know that like, yeah, you know, I get it. I've seen it. I see it myself. I, and I apologize for that. So I'd like to thank everybody for, you know, pointing it out and for the, the important people that pointed out to tell me, get your shit together. We don't like to see you like this. You know, like you don't look right. You don't look healthy. You're not normal. You're not your normal self. And, uh, you know, sometimes you have to reevaluate you and look at yourself in the mirror. And so after that conversation and I got home, I, you know, looked in the mirror real hard and I was like, yeah, I see it. It's not, I'm not giving you the best me. I'm not giving them the best me. So I apologize to everybody that didn't see the best me or thought that I changed or my actions or words uh, didn't validate my feelings or my thoughts or things that I've said or, or, or things that I do. And if I confused anybody, if I hurt anybody's feeling, it wasn't my intention. Um, I just had to reevaluate myself and I'm going through it. Like I'm really going through some shit and probably in the next month or two, I'll be able to tell everybody what was going on, why I haven't been streaming, why I haven't been, you know, vlogging every day and, you know, being upbeat, chipper, positive and, and, but I'm working on that right now. And I'm trying to get my mindset back. And so I got some rest this morning. I got some rest two days ago. And so like, I'm really going to focus on getting back into mental shape for the people who deserve it the most. So sometimes you gotta reevaluate yourself, reevaluate you, reevaluate the people in your circle and always, always know that what you're going through, it'll get better. And life is great. Life is what you make it. And your mindset will tell the story. It's your boy Brian Ash, a.k.a. The Handsome Fister. Thank you for watching the video. Like, subscribe, share, comment on the video. If you think I've been an asshole, comment. If uh, you have some words of encouragement or some advice, please comment. Um, I, I'm really good at usually responding to every comment or at least liking it so you know that I read it. Support Brian Ash, a.k.a. The Handsome Fister. I'm out. Peace.